In 2015, I bought this Squire Strat from Fender along with this Fender Frontman 10G guitar amplifier as a package worth about 12,000 pesos. It was only in June last year that I posted my first video about this purchase and I said in that video that this isn't a Fender, unfortunately, but this one is a Fender, although both are made in Indonesia. And like my previous video, I'll show you the electronics inside this guitar amp. Una sa lahat, mag-subscribe muna kayo sa aking channel para suportahan ito. You may also join this channel as a member to avail of exclusive perks like priority in comments reply and early access or exclusive access to some videos for members only. You can also help fund some projects here by sharing Super Tanks. On its back labels, there are so many warnings here. Warning, warning, caution, caution, attention, caution. <laughs> so in short, if you are not qualified to open a an electronic uh, device or electrical appliance like this, then you shouldn't uh, open this uh, device, okay? Now it says here the input power is 230 volts, then it's uh, 50 hertz. And it's 28 watts. 28 watts is the power consumption. It's not the power of the amplifier. The power of the amplifier is only 10 watts. That's why it says here Frontman 10G. That's 10 watts G for guitar. Okay, so let's open. This is the first time I'm going to open this one. <laughs> Just check what's inside. I'm just curious. So this is made of plywood or card or a board. So the screws are of different sizes. Look at this one. These are short screws and this are the holes here for these two scru short screws so that's why I arrange like that <laughs> okay. oh it's becoming brittle already looks like is this made of card uh, particle board? No. <laughs> oh, it's made of particle board, and looks like it's already uh, chipping. Not already. Mm. So it's not easy to open. I believe that the setup here is made not to be removed because the entire circuit board is attached to this metal sheet here and this metal sheet here is attached to this uh, board which you cannot just remove and also this plate here is also attached to the uh, top of the uh, amplifier and there are uh, bolts here and uh, you cannot just remove it, <laughs> okay? <laughs> okay, so this is the uh, amplifier section. This is the power supply section here, including this um, power transformer. And the forward section there is the tone control, including the two auxiliary inputs. Input for uh, the uh, uh, auxiliary in, and the other one is for he headphones. Again, this is the uh, input jack for the guitar uh, cable. Then this is the gain control, this is the volume control, the treble, and the bass. And uh, input for input jack for auxiliary and input and jack for the output jack for the headphones. And also they switch the over there and it's the power supply. There are two uh, integrated circuits here, this one and this one. These are 
45558 uh, integrated circuit. Uh, the IC itself, the single IC, is already a dual channel. So this has been used for the clean channel here and the overdrive. So one for one channel for the clean and one channel for the overdrive. That's why many people are saying that this uh, guitar amplifier is a two channel. Based on this data sheet of the 4558 uh, integrated circuit, this is a dual high gain operational amplifier, meaning one single chip has two channels. So this is usually used uh, for uh, DVD recorders and players and pro audio mixers. Based on this schematic diagram of the Frontman 10G, the two 4558 IC are used for its pre-amplifier that already includes the bass and treble. The volume control here connects the preamp to the main amplifier which uses the TDA2030 integrated circuit. The TDA2030 is an integrated circuit intended for use as a low frequency uh, class AB amplifier. It typically provides 14 watts output power and has guaranteed output power of 12 watts on a 4 ohm load. In the case of the Frontman 10G, its output impedance is 4 ohms as shown on its speaker. However, Fender declared it having a 10 watt output power. Unlike the usual IC component, the TDA2030 is in a pentawatt package that looks like a transistor having 5 pins. And there's one here, uh, a transistor, and it has been connected or attached to this plate to serve as uh, its heat sink. So that's it. There's a humming sound if you misplace the uh, TRS jack you know, on its input. So what you have to place it properly like that. Something is wrong with the jack, I think. It's either the input jack or the uh, male jack. And also, there's a humming sound even if the uh, there's no input. Even if you pull this out, there's still a humming sound. If you turn off the volume, then you cannot hear the uh, humming sound. Okay, you see that? Somewhat like it's the bass that has a humming sound. And even the treble. It has also a humming sound or high sounds. That's noise, actually. Okay, that was the overdrive, actually. So for clean, you cannot hear uh, that humming sound. So again, if you press the overdrive, you will hear the humming sound. If you turn the treble down, and also the bass, then you cannot hear any humming sounds. And also if you turn off the overdrive. Unlike the usual low power guitar amps that use a class A amplifier, this Fender Frontman 10G guitar amp is a class AB amplifier, meaning it has both the high quality and the power. And I'm telling you now that take care of your frontman because it's not easy to repair this due to its somewhat fixed installation inside. And if you happen to open your uh, frontman, please share your experiences in the comment section below. Thank you.